Good morning to you all. Is it morning? Yeah, just about. Um, I want to talk about the Lawrence Fox thing. They're a lot of fun, isn't it? Um, very much enjoyed his refusal to back down and apologise. And he's, for me, it's the third example in the last six months, a year or so, of celebrities. I know Lawrence Fox wasn't that well known. I knew you, mate. I knew you was Hathaway in Lewis. And I was aware of you recently. I saw you pop up on a couple of things. So I knew that you would, you'd red pilled. And it was uh, nice to see somebody, sort of a lovey, really, from uh, an acting dynasty come out um, and start telling the truth. And I, and I really hope your career doesn't suffer. Uh, it may, but I really hope it doesn't. I hope you know you can branch off in other areas. Hopefully your music will go well for you. Maybe I should actually listen to it. I don't know what it's like. In, anyway, so everyone's been thoroughly enjoying that. Um, yes, the, the, it's, it's those that attack us that are guilty of what they accuse us of. That is the telltale signs of these narcissistic people who do have bad intentions, who are, I think, bad people. They project their sins, their crimes, their Im immorality, what have you, onto others. Maybe they, maybe they assume that other people are like that as well because they know deep down, they know their soul, so perhaps they do. But uh, any, any, doesn't really matter. Um, the best thing to do is to not apologise, and you can just see by the reaction of people around the country how thrilled they are that you've done it. So obviously, Ricky Gervais, uh, the legend that he is, he tore the Hollywood elites to shreds, and everybody celebrated, and and predictably you get to watch the, the little woke crowd up in arms, they're all outraged, ah, you know, this terrible thing, and they just confirm. So that's what you do, you shine a light on them. And maybe, maybe the media as a whole as can see this so you know they're not idiots after all perhaps they can see and i'm not saying all of them in the media because some of them all are still like you know evil mustache twiddling um psychopaths who want to bring in the new world order <laughs> a bit too far down the rabbit hole again but um i think uh, by and large a lot of them are globalistic and they are they want you know they they want the diversity thing they want that they want to bring upon uh, bring upon globalism and change the world but Perhaps they've gone, yeah, we still like to make some money, though. And there's a there's now an appetite from people out there to absorb cases like this. And they can see they're supporting people like Ricky Gervais. Dave Chappelle, as well, he was the he was the one that started it off for me, say, six months ago, whenever it was, when he did his last comedy special. And now Lawrence Fox. And I hope there'll be more and more. And my taxi is quite a good barometer for this, because I do have a really good chat with most of my passengers. Um, they're nice people. They, you know, and they, they, they like to just talk about this and that. I quite often interview them about their jobs, but quite often the conversation does come round to just what's going on in the world. And you, I can see straight away that by and large, everyone is applauding Lawrence Fox and Ricky Gervais for what they've done. So that's good. Um, will Hollywood change? There are signs that some studios are now. Uh, perhaps moving away from the woke crap. I mean, I didn't watch the last Star Wars film, and I won't, um, but I hear that they did. It's almost like they were trying to undo a lot of the damage they'd done, but it was too late. You, the, you know, you can't undo that, I'm afraid. Um, but, yeah, perhaps Hollywood as a whole might start slowing down in its wokeness and realise that at the end of the day they do want people to go to the cinema and pay to see their movies. Anyway, um, but, but also on the side of this if this does start to blow back now and if there is more of a movement of people being feeling a bit freer to speak their minds just be on the lookout for the bad ones in our on our side because there are there are some some actual bad intentioned racists out there they do exist it's not um you know it's, it's not a myth that exists it's just it's they're a, a very small minority and like lawrence fox said people in this country are by and large they're lovely people just nice people. We're tolerant, patient, good people, by and large, um, with a with a few amongst there that are bad. But uh, most people are just very accepting, and you can see with the Meghan Markle thing, 
Um, no one gave a shit. We'll, people raised eyebrows. Oh, that's interesting. The, the, the royal family are getting a bit woke. But uh, I, I think it's a publicity stunt. I think it was done to show how progressive they are. It's backfired massively. And um, and the victim in the whole thing is poor little Harry. Poor little Harry. What's he going to do now? Anyway, uh, that's this video over. Hope you like it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Cheers. Bye.